This is 2018 EGMO problem number 5 and here is a view of this problem. We are given the circumcircle of triangle ABC gamma and we have another circle omega which is tangent to the line segment AB and, uh, and is also tangent to uh, gamma as well and uh, this tangency point is on the same side of the line AB as C is. So um, I don't know. So we can try to draw a tangency here, I guess. All right. So uh, yeah, this is a rough sketch. Okay, there you go. So I have this point here. This is my tangency point. So maybe somewhere here. Uh, I'll call it, I label it as T. I'll label this point here as K. And what else? And, uh, and then we draw the angle bisector at C. Uh, it would hit the midpoint of this one, um, so maybe here, uh, and I'll label this one as M as the midpoint of arc AB, so that's my angle bisector here, and just to keep that in mind, I can just uh, decorate this angle. So these two angles are congruent angles. Lastly, we want to show that uh, angle ABP and QBC, uh, wait, 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 what is P? Uh, it's, oh, so the angle bisector intersects at two different points. So it intersects at this point and say at this point. And the claim is that ABP, um, well, it doesn't matter which one is, uh, so let's call this one as a P, this one as a Q. ABP is this tiny angle. Okay, so my picture is really terrible. Um, but you guys, can see what's going to happen. Uh, okay, so this very tiny opening, that's what we have in mind. So show that this angle and uh, QBC, okay, the, this, uh, okay, not good, not good. <laughs> um, this again, this very thin angle. So show that these uh, two angles are congruent angles. Um, this turns out to be a very well-known configuration, by the way. Uh, but uh, what I have is, uh, first of all, uh, the two circles, they have a dilation. There's a dilation center, that point T, which will map uh, the, cir the, the circle uh, omega to the circle gamma. And as such, I claim it will map the points Q, K and M as well. So those three points are collinear just because of that uh, dilation. So let me write that down. Dilation uh, at K, uh, which maps uh, omega to uh, gamma. Uh, that dilation will also map K to M. And the fastest way to see that is you can just draw a line parallel to AB uh, through M obviously because M is the midpoint because it's where the angle bisector meets the arc AB. Uh, so these two lines are parallel and as a result uh, the, the, the point K will be mapped to the point M basically under this dilation center that point T. I think this is very straightforward. Okay so um, this is uh, turns out to be a very well-known configuration so let me complete this configuration. This is uh, curvilinear uh, uh, not mixed linear but curvy linear in circles so i'm connecting mb well obviously mb is equal to ma no doubt about that but i'm particularly also co connecting b to t as well and oh gosh okay so let's go ahead and make a few uh, okay so let's do this thing one more time so connect b and t as well and my claim is that uh, mb squared wait uh, yes, mb squared is equal to mk times mt. So that's my claim. Um, and and, and uh, then the fastest way to see it is just through uh, angle chasing. So claim, let's write that down. Claim. Uh, and if you have Evan Chan's EGMO book, for instance, you know, um, uh, Euclidean geometry for Mat Olympians. Th this is uh, in, in chapter four, basically. So let's write that down. The claim is that mb squared is equal to mk times mt and the proof is based on uh, similar triangles 
uh, namely uh, so we have oh yes so we have for instance this angle let's mark it as black color so this angle here uh, maybe let's put double sign it, uh, subtends arc ma but this angle also subtends the same arc so as a result uh, proof simply because uh, because triangle uh, well uh, we have triangle mbk for instance mbk is similar to triangle mtb right so mtb and why is that uh well uh because of angle chasing angle 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 because uh, obviously we have already established mbk angle mbk is congruent to angle um mtb mtb but besides the the angle m's so this angle also matches right so and uh, angle bmk bmk is congruent to angle uh tmb and as such by angle 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 or angle angle if you will uh, we have that these two triangles are uh, similar triangles but then length relationships should hold so mb to mt uh, is equal to uh, mk to mb and we would get the desired result so mb squared is equal to mk times mt all right so this was uh, pretty straightforward uh, next we, we can just take power at point power of we can calculate power of point m with respect to omega circle omega power of m of the point m with respect to circle uh, omega and that clearly will tell us that this thing this number mk times mt is also equal to so which is the same number here uh, mp times mq mp times mq but combining it with this earlier result um, so that would imply as a result mb squared is simply equal to mp times mq but then we can reorder this reorganize this you can write it as for instance uh, mq over mb is equal to mb over m p and that would suggest uh, combining it with also and angle b m q being equal to so i'm uh, the the angle uh, let's use a different color maybe a highlighter so b m q is this angle and that angle is uh, i claim is equal to p m b so p m b and so b, b because they are the same angles right so that's very silly uh, p and b so if you combine these two results that would imply so length relationship and angle between them so that would basically imply that triangle uh, uh, bmq bmq uh, bmq is similar to triangle p and b p and b and lastly uh, we can now uh, use ang uh, angle uh, uh, congruences for instance that would imply that for example angle bmq is equal to angle uh, pmb right but angle bmq can be split as uh, angle uh, bmq i can just split it as uh, uh, actually i don't want this angle I, I i would rather prefer qbm okay sorry for that let's use another angle uh, qbm uh, so QBM, BPM. Yes, that should work better. BPM. So QBM, uh, QBM can be split as uh, QBK, angle QBK plus uh, KBM, angle KBM, and angle BPM can be uh, split as BPK, uh, I think, or... Um, bpm hmm q b m wait a second bpm q b m b p m all right so i can um 
Oh, uh, BPM, I can just write it as the sum of two internal angles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In triangle BPC, actually. So that's just equal to, so BPM is just PBC, PBC plus uh, CBP, PBC, PBC, sorry, PCB, I should say. PCB. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, are there any congruent uh, angles here? KBM. KBM is this angle. And I claim that that's the same as, well, as this green, uh, as this red angle. So I should have really painted these angles the same. So these angles are actually the same, right? So these double black angles are the same with these angles. So as a result, uh, angle PCB directly matches with angle KBM. So as a result, QBK, uh, QBK is congruent to PBC, PBC, but they both share, I can further split them into two pieces, right? Lastly, uh, angle QBK is just angle QBP, QBP plus PBK, angle PBK, uh, and that's equal to angle, uh, obviously these two cancelled, uh, PBC is just uh, PBC, PBQ, PBQ plus QBC, angle QBC, aha, uh, so PBQ is common for both of them, uh, PBQ, PBQ, they cancel out, and lastly we get PBK, PBK is exactly what I needed, it's the same as PBA actually, is equal to QBC, that's right, so we, we just established the congruence of these two angles, uh, as suggested, so that was the goal uh, in this problem. So obviously uh, here PBK is the same as PBA, so or ABP if you will, and QBC is uh, is 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 also uh, given. So therefore this is confirmed, and uh, we are done with this problem.